Well, here's some video, uh, I think it's from MSNBC, of Fauci uh, discussing vaccinated people who have the Delta variant. And you know what, I'm not even gonna color this with anything. Listen to it and tell me if, if something seems weird related to vaccines and what we've been sold. Now that we have a Delta variant, that has changed the entire landscape. Because when you look at the level of virus in the nasopharynx of a vaccinated person who gets a breakthrough infection with Delta, it is exactly the same as the level of virus in a unvaccinated oh. person who's infected. That's the problem. So those data are very compelling and that triggered the change in the CDC guideline. So just to be clear, what Lord Fauci just said is that whether you're vaccinated or not, the virus level that you'll have because of the Delta variant will be exactly the same. Okay, so I'll, I'll just assume that that's true in this case, right? I'm gonna take his word for it. He's Fauci, he has given us information, we much, must believe it. Now, we were told that the vaccines, Joe Biden's words, you know, once you take the vaccine, you can get back out there, do your thing. Then of course the Delta variant comes and uh, you know, uh, you know, and then the woman at Costco and all of it. Um, but that sort of sounds like he's an anti-vaxxer in a way. You told us that if we all got vaccinated, we're good to go, everything will open up. And actually, not only did you do that, you used to say 14 days to, or what was it, 14 or 15 days to uh, flatten the curve. 14, 15 days, who's counting at this point? Yeah, that was almost two years ago at, at this point. Um, that was before a vaccine had even been thought of, right? Like right at the beginning of this thing, there was no chance. Uh, and by the way, when Trump was you know, doing Operation Warp Speed and they were speeding up the vaccines, everyone on MSNBC and CNN was saying who would take this, who trusts CN, uh, the CDC and who trusts uh, Trump and all of that stuff. Now, if you say that about the administration, you're, you're on one of AOC's list. Uh, but the point here is, and I'll take his word for it, that if you take the vaccine, the, vi the level of the virus, his words, is just as bad whether you're vaccinated or not. Well, that sort of is telling people not to get vaccinated, isn't it? Isn't it kind of saying, well, this stuff that you sold us, this bill of goods that you sold us, isn't what was promised. And on top of it, uh, just now, I think Biden's having a press conference this afternoon, but some of it's leaking. They're saying that every federal employee will have to be vaccinated without choice. And every contractor that works with the federal government will have to have all of their employees vaccinated. So it's like the mandate is here. And by the way, guys, you may remember, on July 30th, the last day that I spent online before disappearing, I was banned from Twitter. And why was I banned from Twitter? Because I said basically that the vaccines aren't working as promised, which that obviously is true. And I'm not telling you not to get vaccinated. You should get vaccinated if you wanna get vaccinated. You absolutely should. And you should wear a mask if you wanna wear a mask. And you should live in an underground bunker if you wanna live in an underground bunker. Actually, I'd prefer if a lot of these people did. Just stay there, stay down there. We'll, we'll send you stuff, care package. Um, but I was banned because I said, obviously the vaccines aren't working and obviously federal mandates are coming. That got me banned from Twitter. Of course, then I fought back and fortunately because of rubenreport.locals.com, I had a way of getting my message out there instead of just being completely, uh, you know, being completely wiped away from the internet in essence. Um, well, it turns out that the thing that I got banned for that eventually Twitter did apologize and they said it was an error. Well, that's pretty much what they're all saying right now. So. Dave Rubin, the Kreskin of YouTube. Uh, by the way, just a couple other quick crazy COVID things here. This is from the New York Post. A New Jersey student has said he is barred from taking classes at Rutgers University because he has not been vaccinated, even though he's only studying virtually from home. He was locked out of his Rutgers email and related accounts when he went to pay his tuition at the end of last month and was told that he needed to be vaccinated even though he has no plans to attend in person. Do you think that this thing is expanding? Does any of this feel like it has anything to do with COVID? Do I seem like a complete conspiracy theorist to you? Maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I dig you and I thank you for watching.